Hello everybody, my name is Cleo. Today I'm going to be reading American Culture. Hey everybody, welcome to this B1 English practice video. You can use this video to practice your listening and comprehension as I speak. Okay, today I'm going to talk about American culture. I could probably talk for hours and hours about this topic, but I tried to cover a few main cultural elements, and then I'll probably do a part two for this video. So let's just jump right in. The U.S. has small lot people would probably consider the most popular culture in the world. This is due to the fact that the U.S. export its culture to other countries via the internet, entertainment, and other means. And the fact that English is not the most important language for business and travel has also contributed to this. So a lot of you probably already know quite a bit about American culture. But let's go ahead and talk about a few cultural elements. One of the most important aspects of American culture is our commitment to freedom. One of the most important values in the U.S., if not the most important, is personal liberty. At the very core of the U.S. Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, it's a the idea that each individual has the right to live freely and that government only says to protect this right. So what does this mean exactly? It means that individual people can live and act how they want, as long as they don't infer upon the right of others. In the US, we stress the individual more than the collective. This is different from the most countries where there is more stress on the common good or society. In these places, the government often has a bigger influence in people's lives. Okay, our next cultural element I want to talk about is politeness. When many foreigners visit the U.S., they notice that while it may not be the friendliest country in the world, Americans tend to be very polite. For example, we have a tendency to say things in a pretty indirect way to sound nicer. So if we're at the restaurant, instead of asking the waiter, where's the restroom? Most of us would probably say, could you tell me where the restroom is? These types of indirect questions are more polite, so we prefer them. In certain situations, if someone asks something very directly, many Americans might feel that that person is being a little rude. This is to indicate how much politeness is valued in the U.S. Alright, one other cultural element that I want to discuss is the entrepreneur in the U.S. The us really exist in rare country, but the entrepreneurial spirit is especially widespread in the U.S. Many people dream of owning their own business or creating something new. A lot of my students in other countries tell me that only a small minority of people in their country wants to become an entrepreneur. Most people would probably prefer to work as an employee in a good company with good benefits. Of course, many Americans want this too, but there's also many people who want to start something on their own. There's something about creating a business from scratch that's really appealing and inspiring to many people. And some people simply value independence more than comfort. I've done this type of person, considering that I've never worked a full-time job as an employee. In fact, I've never rejected benefits like paid vacation day, I still prefer this style of work. I love the freedom and excitement that comes with working independently and as an entrepreneur. So I could probably say I have this entrepreneurial spirit in me. Okay, that's all for today. I'll probably make a part two to this video to talk about some more cultural element in the U.S.